Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to NIMBY Rails. This is the uh, grand project in Alberta, of course. And uh, while you were away, I've uh, run the clock forward a bit, uh, collected a whole boatload of cash, and I've also roughed in uh, the rest of the line, uh, main line, up to Edmonton, Edmonton downtown. Okay? And that... Um, and that's going to cost $728 million to uh, build, which is why I ran the uh, clock forward enough to get, you know, almost a billion in the bank. Because when we build this, we're going to have to add uh, several trains to the line. Um, right. So it took me something like 45 minutes to rough all of this in. Um, anyway, I'm just going to run through here. We come out of Red Deer. Okay. Uh, and we come out of here. Okay, let's uh, turn that off. Uh, so we come out of Red Deer, we come up the, this is actually the main uh, um, uh, avenue here. Um, we do a few elevated bits to get over some stuff. Uh, we get out of the uh, city proper, we tool along, and we stop at a town called Black Falls. And we only stop there because it's a fair distance from Red Deer and it's along the way. Then we stop at Lacombe. That's not Lacombe, it's Lacombe. And we do a little bit of uh, fiddling around. Um, the catchments on these stations isn't that great. Then we fiddle around up here. Um, we've Ideally, I, I should straighten this out with an elevated or, or tunnel here. But uh, And we run up along here, we come up. We do not have a station at Morningside, it's tiny. Um, we have a gap here, which I will fix. Um, right. Okay. You. Delete. No. You. No, 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 no. What we can do is... Can we? No. Um, yeah, okay. So we fix that. Okay, this is one of the reasons I'm uh, doing this. It's a check. Okay, and then we come up here. Uh, we come all the way up here to Pinoka, which is reasonably sized. Again, the catchment's not great. Uh, we don't stop at any of the stuff along here. We come up. Uh, we don't stop here. Not very big. Uh, we could reroute it to do that at some point in the future. We stop in Wetaskiwin, which is a decent-sized place, um, right? Then we uh, we continue up here. We don't stop in Millet, although I might add a station there at some point. And again for Kavanaugh, but it's not very big, as you can see. Uh, then we have a stop in Leduc. Um, obviously, we'll need some uh, local tram service here. And then we're up into the Edmonton area. So here's the Edmonton International Airport. I have not put a station, a stop here. Uh, ultimately, I'll probably end up uh, putting a station here at... Um, where's the, uh, the name on there? There was a name on here. At the uh, south side of Niskew here. Uh, or not. I may just uh, run a tram around uh, here. Uh, but I've got a station at Niskew, uh, which I think I was planning to connect into the airport. Yeah. Uh, and also we can bring it across to Beaumont from there. Right. So, yeah, we can uh, we can do some stuff in the area. What that was that, that was kind of funky. Then we come up and we're actually into the city of Edmonton here. Uh, I don't have a stop anywhere down in this this area, and I put the main Edmonton Intercity Station downtown. Okay, now ultimately uh, coming out of here, uh, we're probably going to go. Uh, we're going to head out this way toward Grand Prairie, Dawson Creek, Fort St. John, and so on, all the way up to Whitehorse and Fairbanks and maybe yeah yeah and maybe with a side trip to Dawson City way up there now, I only know about that stuff because I know a little bit about the geography up there okay 
Right. So, so that's our, uh, our planned, uh, line here. Okay. Uh, so we've got enough cash here, uh, that we can just build the blueprints, build them. Yes. Good. Okay. Now, if we go on lines, we've got our inner city line, right? Which stops currently at Red Deer, right? So we got Red Deer Inner City, right? What we can do is we can add stops. I'm going to pause the game while we do that. So here we go. A stop. A stop. A stop. And one here, yeah, good, right, here, yep, here, yep, and, um, yeah, we'll do it there, and back down, like this, like this. right here Lacombe Blackfolds and Red Deer okay so we've got 958 kilometers apparently due to the uh, scaling being out of whack okay now we'll turn off adding stations We'll grab the timing calculator. Um, let's uh, let let's have our ideal average speed at two hundred. Okay, estimate. So it's suggesting a minimum interval of forty-four minutes. Right. Can we, can we do 250? Estimate. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll do 250 on that. Now, uh, I think that might be an overestimate. We might have late trains, but we have a, uh, it's, a it, it's suggesting an interval of 41 minutes with uh, seven trains, right? Um where does it say there's seven trains? Seven trains, yes. Okay, so if we... No. Uh, lines. Uh, here. Yeah, here. Okay. Now, if we clone this... Um, yes, and we'll clone the schedule. If we add three trains, because we can afford that right now, bam. Okay. Uh, now we uh, we go back to the lines thing here. Now it's suggesting twenty nine. Okay. We'll do that. We'll go with twenty nine. That's probably fine. Now, uh, let's go back out here and we'll start running trains up past Red Deer. Okay, now we're just, I'm just going to watch the train tool its way up there. And make sure it doesn't get stuck anywhere because it won't because the line actually connected but we'll see um
Well, it is making, yeah, I think it might be getting reasonably close to the, to the, uh, the time bit. Okay. Okay, that does seem to be, uh, that seems to be working. Okay, now, uh, let's, um, let's grab the line, and we'll go up on the accounting tab here, and we see that we are, we're still making some cash on it. So, uh, what are we, we're charging five per kilometer, okay. Right. close that okay yeah that's a little less uh, noisy now what we can do is add some local service now it occurs to me that if we add some local service in the Edmonton area we can get a lot of passengers into the station here and that could make a huge difference on the uh, the uh, util utilization of the line, right? Uh, is if we come down here, all the way down here, we can see that we are picking up boatloads of passengers here. Um, yeah. Okay, where are the the trains on this line. Uh, come on, we have, we need more, we need more trains. Okay. Yeah, uh, we definitely need more trains on the inner city line. Um, Okay, destination. Okay, group by, no, origin, trips. Yeah, okay. Right. Oh, we're in Airdrie there. Um, right. Oh, that's uh, that's gone down a little bit. Okay, so what... Um, okay. You are a 480 passenger train. Okay. Wait, wait, this is going down. We do still need, why? Time, maybe? We do still need a another, um, another train on there uh, or two, but we don't have the cash for it, so we won't do that just yet. Um... Right. Okay, so what we can do, let's go way up, way up to Edmonton. Okay. And let's just rough in a tram. Yeah. Stations. Right. And we'll just run a tram side to side here. So if we uh does this no that creates a new station so we'll do it here yep no yep we'll do that and <clears throat> i guess we can do one here yeah uh 
Okay. Yep. I suppose we can whack one in here. Yeah. And over here, maybe. Yeah. And there. Yeah, that'll do there. Okay. Add a couple over here. Like that. Like this. Yeah. We're just putting a, a tram line in here for, uh, well, mostly for the lulls, uh, but actually uh, so that we can, uh, we can get uh, a little bit more uh, traffic to our fancy new uh, intercity station, right? Nope. Um, here. What? Okay, here. Um, yeah, we'll stop there. Okay, so this, we'll just, uh, chuck in some, uh, some tram tracks. Okay, you can come across. So this I'm just doing on screen because it's fast. Okay. Yep. Right. Yeah. See, I'm not trying to duplicate any existing network here. Uh, so that's, uh, that's partly why I'm uh, doing things the way I'm doing things here. Because uh, if I was trying to duplicate a network, it would be really just tedious. Oh, right. Viaduct. Yeah. Tram track again. Uh, right. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Um, this, this the last one? Yeah, it is. Okay. So that gives me 18 million to build that. We'll build it. Okay. Now we're going to go into lines and we are going to make a new one. Yeah. And this is going to be... Edmonton 
uh, east, west, local. Okay. Uh, price per kilometers. Two. Right. Okay. Add stops. Okay. Here. 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 Okay, that gets us a uh, line. We're going to have to chuck some uh, trains at it. Uh, over here, over here, 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 here. Oh, there's one more. That's it. Okay. Right. Good. Now we turn that off. We turn that on. Ideal speed 40. Estimate legs. Okay. Interval. Hmm. Okay. Trains. Um. No. Purchase new trains. Okay, what do we want? We want a city tram. Yeah, we want a city tram. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of what we want. Um, we can get four of them. We're going to buy one of them. Purchase. Click. Line. Edmonton East West Local. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll clone this. We don't have. Uh, we'll put. We'll have four on there because we can afford that for the moment. Uh, we'll go onto lines. We have four trains. Um estimate it wants a 19 minute uh gap no that's uh we're gonna go for a 10 minute gap now that means we're gonna need four more trains i think so let's um Let's uh, see if we can get up to a decent uh, uh, amount here by just maxing the uh, the speed out on the uh, on the game. Uh, right. So we need about twenty eight million here. So uh, we'll just let it tick over to about 30 million and we'll add four more trains on there and then see what we get. You see, we got decent income coming in now, so uh, we can just put it on max speed for a couple minutes and there, and then we end up with our, uh, right. Okay, so now we'll go back to trains uh, we'll clone that train again four times. Bam. Okay. Uh, go back to the line. Uh, I kind of like this new uh, scheme we've got here. Um, if I keep it at 10 minutes with a minute, or, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, but I, I kind of like this new interface here because it uh, it allows this stuff to, uh, to be more easily uh, configured, right? Um, okay, so let's look at the accounting on here. So we're up 22k on that. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, but that should increase the demand here. Right? 
and that uh, that should make a difference uh, overall, right? Uh, we might need more more trams on here actually to uh, to drain the uh, the passengers there. Uh, although, yeah. No, we're doing okay, I think. Uh, probably want a few more trains on there just to uh, keep the uh, keep things ticking. But uh, yeah, that uh, that I think is fine. Uh, we could, of course, add a whole bunch more local lines up there. Uh, add some in Red Deer, uh, whatever. And that uh, that would certainly give us a uh, a benefit, right? Uh, but from here, uh, I think uh, I think yeah, I want to I want to get up to Grand Prairie, uh, which will be a. You know what? I'm just going to make a hub in Edmonton. Yeah, but uh, Grand Prairie. Uh, where I'll come out, I'll hit probably Spruce Grove. Um, uh, probably uh, come up this way, past uh, uh, Onaway, maybe. Um, all the way up here through through this stuff here. A Mayor Thorpe, probably a stop in Mayor Thorpe, uh, White Court, and we'll come up this way, uh, Fox Creek area, and we uh, we can come up, we hit Valley View, and then we strike off this way, and we can eventually get to Grand Prairie, and from there we'll eventually come over to. Dawson Creek okay and that's probably going to be my terminus now Grand Prairie will be the terminus for the uh, the uh, that line uh, there will also be one that will head up toward Peace River uh, and points north uh, on a different line probably uh, yeah probably full air uh, here uh, and then uh, down this way um, yeah through Slave Lake and then uh, down this way I think I'm not sure I'll have to uh, ponder that a little bit but I definitely need to get up to Grand Prairie for connections into northwestern British Columbia over here and ultimately a connection up toward Whitehorse and Fairbanks, uh, where I'll also have a local connection out to Anchorage uh, via, you know, between probably Anchorage, Fairbanks, Anchorage, Whitehorse. Yeah. Um, there's also a town up here somewhere. Um, where is it? Um, no, uh, unless they've renamed it, I can't find it. Inuvik, there it is. Uh, yeah, so there's a, there's a town over here, uh, which doesn't have a lot of, uh, roads in it, but we can, uh, definitely... Uh, we could definitely bring a a line up this way if we were looking at covering everything. What the? Okay, that's a. Oh yeah, that'll be a a crazy. Uh, uh, that'd be a crazy uh, line to try and put in if you're going to follow the uh, extant road here. Right. 
Okay, yeah, and somewhere around here is the uh, Arctic Circle, right? But anyway, uh, what we're uh, really looking at here is uh, some sort of a hub set up at Edmonton here, I suspect. Um, but overall, the grand plan is just to get a whole bunch of stuff connected. You know, there's not that much to the grand plan. Um, this line, I think this line will actually go up through St. Albert and Warrenville up this way. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what I'll do with that one. Well, anyway, there's a whole bunch of stuff up here to uh, connect up with intercity local rail service, uh, which, uh, you know, run along these highways here. So like there'll be uh, something, I'll end up bringing something out of Wetasco in here, which will come along into, along this road and eventually run out toward uh, Saskatchewan over this way. Yeah, uh, so there'll be a bunch of east-west services I need to hang off of this. But I think what I should do before I get too far, come down this way, right? Do the uh, southern line down to, well, at least Fort McLeod. What would I do with the, uh, yeah, the uh, north-south line would come down this way. It would come into Fort McLeod. Uh, we would come over to Lethbridge, which is a decent-sized place, and then down this way. And this would bring us to the uh, Alberta-Montana border right here at Coots. Yeah, so that'll be the uh, the main uh, connection point down there. Okay. I'm not sure which of these these uh, will be the, the next project, actually. Well, I've got a week to think about it, so so there's that. Uh, I'll obviously, and I'll, I'll probably do the same thing I did this time, rough it in, and then we'll fling trains at it and uh, uh, look at things. Uh, but before I go, let's just check in on the accounting. Um, okay, so the previous day, we we're giving up half a million in uh, uh, refunds and compensations. Um, we bought a bunch of stuff and we're still up six million there. Um, we're doing a little better so far this day, um, but we're only halfway through it. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely, uh, that's doing okay. And now we've got something that is noticeable on the world map, even if it's tiny, right? So, uh, I'm hoping the developer will add the ability to connect a uh, line off the side of the map here and come on over here because I really want to do a connection from Anchorage into Russia um, have have they uh, hmm yeah yeah there's no update to the uh, map data there okay right so that's that uh, so I guess you know, that's enough pontificating here. Uh, I'll just say before I go, the developer has been working on a bunch of updates to the game, and uh, things have been sl slowly but steadily improving. So uh, I have to give the, give uh, uh, what do they uh, call themselves? Um, weird and Rye. Uh, I have to give, give the guy credit for, uh, for what he's uh, done so far. Uh, and it, the continued uh, effort on the game. So, you know, this is, that's actually quite good. Anyway, uh, that's kind of all for this time. You know, I, and, and that's what a lot of these, uh, these episodes are going to be, is uh, me doing a little bit of tinkering and then a lot of pontification and uh, so on. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this time. So stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. I mean... There seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel and all. 
uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, etc., or not, as you see fit, and uh, see you back next time.